Hi guys, it's Mesa with Things Made and Polish It Off, and I have a project I'm going to do with some great value bleach, um, measuring tape, and some denim jeans. You do want to start with an empty washing machine, and I will show you why here in a bit. Um, excuse the road noise, I'm doing this. So that I have good ventilation. I have these apple bottoms. Um, they had some staining which I tried very hard to get out spot cleaning and washing. Didn't have any, didn't have, didn't work out too good so I went ahead and distressed instead. I did some little holes um, and just kind of frayed those so I want to wash them so that they get a little more properly frayed. But I thought it would be cool to go ahead and use my lace, this junky, junky lace ripped um, tablecloth. It has tears and stains and it's just in general really bad shape. But I thought it might be cute to do the legs on this. So I'm going to measure. I'm going to use my measuring tape and I'm going to measure off and make sure that I have a good distance here and here and here and here so that they mimic each other. So I will do that and um, then I will lay these as flat as I possibly can. They are like some sort of fabric and I want them like laying down as close to the actual fabric as possible so that I get the crispest design. Okay, so I ended up arranging this at 12 inches here and eight inches here to a V when the pants are together. Okay, that was a close one. This is the spray bottle that I want to use. This actually is my spot treatment um, for my laundry. You don't want to be mixing any kind of chemicals with bleach at all. So make sure you get that right. <laughs> Okay, and then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to, again, make this super, super flat, and I'm going to try to spray this heavily right here and try not to spray up here at all. So I'm going to just be working right here, and I'm just going to go in this pattern down to the bottom. You don't want to move the tablecloth at all once you get it laid down here, and you want to be able to move to the other pant leg rather quickly. This is straight bleach, um, it develops faster, and I, I just have had better success with this than watering it down. So I don't know if you can see my mist is just going above the pant leg a bit, and I am going to do this heavily. What I want to do is get it on heavy enough to soak the tablecloth. I want it to soak the tablecloth. Whoa, yikes. Okay, I'm moving around here. Um, but not saturate it to where it goes through the tablecloth. Okay, you'll notice I'm spraying from one direction. I'm not going this direction. I'm not going to back up and go in another direction. I'm going to keep the nozzle at the same angle and just move down this direction. And try the reveal. I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if I have quite enough on there. I think I'm gonna go one more time. Make sure I get enough bleach on that fabric. Again, I'm not changing direction, I'm just kind of going over where I've already been. Okay. 
And what I'm going to do is move this over to the sunlight, let it develop. Okay, I've only had the camera off for a couple of minutes, and you can see, well, just a few seconds actually, and I've moved both into the light, sunlight, and you can see it's developing very, very nicely. Now we have to decide whether to flip it over and do the back, which I think I will to go ahead and do. Okay, I'm going to do this quickly. You can see some of the bleach has already leaked through to the back, so I definitely have to do the back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Possibly a little lighter bleach than I did before. I don't really want this seeping, seeping, seeping through. The front. I did use two more corners. develop and kind of watch it just right in the sunlight these little spots just start developing and move it again over into the sunlight a little bit better so you can see they're developing very nicely in the sun I'm gonna go ahead and get these straight into the washer um, total this is only taken about two minutes. Um, I did want to say, if you want to prevent the, um, you can see there's really white pieces. This is where it um, went through. The bleach went through both sides of the pant leg and bled onto the back. You can prevent that by stuffing in a plastic insert. They have those plastic chopping mats at the Dollar Tree um, that you can just cut up to make perfectly for this, um, but I am going to rush these into a cold washing machine. I'm getting them right into an empty washing machine, and I'm going to use cold water, or cool water is fine. I'm going to give it the lightest one, and I'm going to give it two rinses on the normal setting, and just let that go. The reason the reason I should use this short setting is so that the bleach will rinse out completely through the pipelines um, and you need that water to kind of disarm the bleach because it is eroding the color and the fiber as well um, and then I wanted to know what you guys thought about this purse it's like an old purse that I have what's that Open, crusty. I don't know. Anyway, I was wondering what do you guys think about doing that same process on my purse? I don't know how this Naga Heidi stuff will hold up to the bleach. Maybe I can mask that off. Um, tell me in the comments what you think I should do with this bag. Thanks.